All right, so we got a big day ahead of us today. I'll be cutting the deck. Now I know I wanted to get a lot of other things to well, really just paint the bilge and the fish box done beforehand, but I already have the wood and I figured I would just undercoat the wood. When I undercoat the wood with polyester resin, that'll be the same time that I go ahead and paint the bilge and I'll just let everything dry for a couple days, a couple days that I do my normal work and I'll come back to it and then I'll be ready to roll. Those would be two good things to do on the same day. So I'd like to get the deck cut plus, I mean, getting the deck cut that's like a that's like one of those milestones painting the bilge and it's a little more boring so all right so this is what we're working with it is all three quarter inch marine grade plywood i got six sheets one two three four five six yeah all right making sure they're all still there i obviously have that old weathered wood but this is fresh wood and i also got this four by eight real cheap insulation foam in order to serve as a template and this will soon have a deck or at least the deck cut out. It's about 80 inches, maybe 80 and a half. I'm not getting any exact measurements, just an overall idea. And that's about 82, 82 and a half. So 80 to 82. Back here, we're gonna go a little bit bigger, 81, where it was 80. Here, we're gonna, what was it, 82? And in half maybe we're gonna go 83 or so. I'm gonna get a, two more measurements in there so I get a better understanding. This was about 82, was 81 and a half. So we're gonna, we're just going big. I can always cut more, I can't add any back. Uh, All right, I almost forgot that the other side was flat, that this side was flat. I gotta make sure that this has a decent curve as well. This is exactly why I'm doing it on this type of board so I can get a little bit better understanding. Allow me to clarify what I'm doing here more so than just mumbling to the camera. Um, I messed up a little bit. I measured the exact measurements, but from a flat side. Obviously, the hull is not flat on one side and curved on the other. It has just about an equal curve on either side, which is not what I did in this clip because I was still just trying to figure it out. Not really. Honestly, I wasn't even sure what I was thinking here. However, after this board, I found a method which is incredibly obvious once it's pointed out to you, but here it is. I figured I'd show you all this one now like I'm a bearing straight. So you can see I have a line that is in the middle of these two. And I know for this measurement it's 79. And then halfway through it's 75, 71, and then 66 inches. So what I'm gonna do to count for that drastic curve is just do half on either side of this line. So half of 79 is 39 and a half. So on either side, it's gonna be 39 and a half. So I'm gonna put that right on there, 39 and a half, and I'll measure on each side so I get the proper hole curve for this cut on each side. I think that's a good way to go about it. Now we're back to the original cut where it was a little bit off. Obviously, I gave it a little bit more on either side. That's why it's a little bit too big, but I wanted to ensure that I didn't cut off too much because this is the only piece of insulation board that I bought. Speaking of which, $700 on wood and I get the cheapest insulation board there is. I should have gotten the uh, sturdier board so I'd have a more accurate um, measurement. So note to you, use the sturdier board. Spend a little bit extra money, get to you should be good. I'm gonna make a few more minor adjustments and then I'm gonna cut out the wood for the back. Now that ain't the prettiest line, but it'll give me an idea of where to cut. We have a little bit of a taper on this side as well. And this is going to be a little bit of an odd video. I'm just going to tell you all off the rip. I've told you all time and time again, this is my very first time building a boat. However, it's not my first time building. I'm typically very exact when it comes to measuring things. Y'all seen in the past, I make sure I measure twice, cut exact, and everything fits perfect. However, when it came to the deck for some reason, that wasn't the case, and I, I don't know why. Maybe I felt a little bit too comfortable because I had the template and I could mess up if I needed to, or maybe I just had an all around off day. You know, I knew that I should have removed the gunnel cap. I just didn't have anyone to come out here and help me do it. It's it's. That part isn't really a one-man job. Well, so I have to take a little bit off of that. I feel like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna just take a little bit off of that. And I'm, I feel like I'm gonna have to take a little bit off of somewhere, unless it's just a perfect fit. Cause right now it's a little snug, but uh. He 
<laughs> and that's the deck. There's space right over there because it's a little bit warped, but that'll be able to, that'll settle. We'll put weights on it when we stick it down too, so that ain't gonna be a problem. All right, so this is what we're working with now. I actually noticed that the width of that backboard kind of got stuck at a certain area, so I guess it doesn't, right where those two boards meet appears to be the absolute widest of the boat. That'll be right here to right there. So I just flipped this around. I had to cut a hole in it, obviously, for the um, PVC, so you can see right there. And I drew a new line along this side, and I'll be able to go ahead and cut that out and get that fitted, as well as that hole right there. And I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller than, than I think it is, so I have a little bit of a gap. Therefore, I'm not working with any hard spots. You know how it's, it's touching over there, that's a hard spot? When I bring that out to uh, cut the hatch, which I'll do that later on, I'm gonna carve that down, cut that down a little bit. I'm also gonna mess with the little, uh, the fraying of the wood over there. Because with the gaps, I'll be able to fill those with peanut butter, which, I mean, just like the idea of the stringers, you actually don't want the wood touching the hull, but on the sides, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I wanna be able to have it fit snug, but not so snug that it's like trying to bend out the hull. So let me get all this done. I'm gonna have to figure out the measurement on this PVC right here. And then uh, y'all see me when I'm, putting this back in because it's just more cutting, just more cutting. Oh, I'm an idiot. Because I cut it the opposite warped way. Like it's still gonna level all out, but that's still annoying. You'll be able to see when I move. See, the only reason that isn't matched up is because the wood is slightly warped and Nice. Got a little trigger happy there. I must have sneezed or something. Same with right there, but again, that's perfectly okay because I'll be able to fill it with peanut butter. This is kind of good. Hole may be a little bigger than I need. Yeah, so for this one, instead of just sitting on the stringers, we have the problem where the side of the hull meets the bottom of the hull, and the deck right here kind of butts up against the bottom of the hull. So it's not a very straight cut, if that makes any sense. You can kind of see where I'm measuring right now, where it's going to be sitting, and that's going to take a whole lot more measurement. It's not going to be even on one side as it is on the other, so a lot of calculations and just i mean trial and error with the template in hopes that you can get it to fit well the deck is cut out and i am going to be removing all these to resin coat the bottom of it but i also need hatches so i need a hatch in the bilge area i already have the hatch i need to cut out for the hatches i need a hatch for this section of the fuel tank right and then a hatch for that section of the fuel tank so I can access where the hoses and the gauges are. The thing that bothers me the most is up here. It is that this stringer is a little bit shorter than this stringer. I thought I had made them level, but evidently not. So you can see how when this part of the hull comes up, it comes up about, you know, a little bit more than a foot right there. But on this side, it's obviously quite a bit more than a foot. So it's not exactly symmetrical, which is, eh, it bothers me. Maybe I will build those fish boxes because I actually decided against it. Who knows? All right, I finished everything up for the day. I'm so tired that I could barely string together a sentence. I should probably go home and uh, eat some food, but everything's laid, not actually laid, but cut out properly. I still have to coat the bottom with resin as well as uh, peanut butter it in. But first, I'm gonna have to cut out the hatches. I measured all those. You can see the fish box and the front fuel tank one up there, and then the uh, back fuel tank 
and a bilge. And then you're able to see actually where I've cut a little bit for the rear boxes. I know I said I was gonna make a fish box and then a, uh, I don't know, something, or not a fish box, but a live well. I'm not gonna make that a live well. I'm just gonna make that more storage because we don't even fish with live bait around here. And if I'm gonna keep something, I'm gonna keep it on ice. But that's basically ready to be drilled together fiberglassed in but that's what those two boards are is the wall that goes right here and the wall that goes right there they have the natural taper out it fits all right i just got to get the uh the top on that's going to be folding seat in that top as well same idea with this over here obviously ignore those lines this line and that line i wanted to angle it out a little bit i'll go into more detail about this another time but if that made its own video then uh i'll see y'all next week if it didn't I'm gonna see y'all here in a sec when I go ahead and cut out those hatches, resin coat the bottom of the deck, as well as peanut butter it in and do all the fiberglass work. So.